Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and in today's video we are going to talk about VIT, Vellore Institute of Technology. Of course you guys might have heard about this college because this college is a real hype. So uh, today we have Mati Haran over here who will be helping us with all our doubts about this college. So yeah, let's get started. Hi Mati Haran, could you please introduce yourself? So, I'm uh, Mati Haran, so uh, I, I've been um, studying in VAT for you know last five years so I joined VAT by 2018 so I've been uh, 18 batch and recently I've been graduated from VAT so it happened my convocation happened uh, you know, last week yeah so I did uh, integrated MTech software engineering there um, so it's a five years course for people who don't know that uh, uh, there is a five years school called uh, integrated MTech software engineering VAT so I studied there and uh, yeah I, it went well and uh, I almost done a good job. So what exactly is the admission criteria uh, to get into uh, VIT? Yeah, people uh, who loves to do M-Tech uh, can um, have multiple options. For people who like uh, want to do 4 years course B-Tech uh, or um, you know um, B, so they just want to uh, write an exam called as uh, VIT Triple E. So that's an entrance exam uh, after completing co college, uh, sorry, school. So you just have to write it. So it's similar to what uh, we have, right? Uh, JE exam and all these things. Uh, the difficulty will be like not much like uh, JE advanced, but uh, it will be almost similar to JE. But uh, yeah, the difficult level uh, depends. Um, so you have to clear it. Uh, I think um, it's based on the rank category. So actually, uh, we, there are four VATs right now. So uh, VAT Vellur came up early, like uh, it's been 30 years now. Uh, recently, they opened a uh, branch in VAT Bangalore. So actually, since a uh, lot of uh, branches came up, uh, so the seat, number of seats also uh, simultaneously increased. Um, so uh, you have to be in within uh, 15,000 rank or uh, 10K rank to get a better, uh, you know, better what we can say like better stream of uh, course so yeah that's one thing also um, there are like sim uh, number of criteria for uh, joining like if you come in a first category uh, for the fees will be like uh, literally quite low and uh, the similarly there are like almost uh, three categories so based on the category which you come depends on the ranking so you will get your uh, you know the course and uh, the fee structure so that is for B.Tech. So also there is uh, uh, people who uh, uh, also have uh, their integrated M.Tech course. So all the, for, for this course, uh, right now we have uh, MI, uh, we say like MIS, so M.Tech Integrated Software Engineering. So there is a uh, specialized course for data science and uh, artificial intelligence, I guess, recently they opened, I guess. So there are some three to four courses which is added in uh, integrated M.Tech. Um, to join that, uh, basically you need a proper, uh, uh, you know, a percentage. Uh, they doesn't consider about your uh, entrance mark. So you just have to be having a good uh, uh, cutoff and then uh, that will uh, uh, help you, in, you know, sit in the counseling and get a better ranking so that you will get your uh, stream of course and the, the location of uh, college as per your need. So that is for uh, MTech, integrated MTech. Yeah. Okay. It's pretty tough to be a part of this college, I see. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Can you please tell me the overall experience so far at VIT and also, you know, uh, what about the campus life and everything? Uh, uh, I would say like, um, yeah, I had a dream when I ran into my college. Like, uh, it's my, all these five years has been a dream year so for me. So I had a big network now. So it's like I had a atom for me, myself in the college. So I started blank, uh, like a blank paper. I don't have anything to fill it early when I start joined in 2018. Then uh, VAT is not like, uh, it will be having a different kind of people and different cultural people. So you you see people from different countries and uh, different states, like uh, all over India, people will be coming and studying there. And the, the thing is, uh, everyone will be like uh, too cool and uh, they have a super, um, you know, they are all super intelligent. That's why like they came into VAT. So once you go into there, you see sit among those all talented peoples and uh, you get a uh, feel that you need to be like coming up uh, with all the talents which you have so that you can uh, uh, you know, post it among them and then work 
and then compete among them so getting a play job there among the, all these competitive people during the placement is a very difficult task so you asked about my um, work li- like like um, like college life right so let's uh, keep that um, study sahet for some time apart from that we have um, like a us based um, uh, you know a time table like uh, we can choose our own faculty and uh, we, there will be for example for a single course we some four to five faculties will be taking that and we have a morning slot afternoon slot like uh, it's uh, students wish to chase uh, you know choose which slot they want like for example i have to schedule my uh, whole uh, week as a afternoon slot time table so that um, i will be getting a lot of free time in the morning so uh, as per my need uh, i can uh, you know choose uh, it's like a first come first serve uh you know uh first come first serve registration system so we choose people uh, faculties depending on that and then uh, we will get our slots uh, as per our need so that is like a uh, flexible system which uh, even uh, uh, ITs don't have i guess so i spoke with some it nit people in ITs so i don't think like they have this kind of uh, us based system so that is one good thing because uh, in between free time we can just chill or we can go and play play a sport which we need so there is a digital library um, it's quite a cool place uh, now the college is quite a crowded place um, yeah so the college uh, culture environment will be super cool and uh, it will be like uh, it will be pleasing to be there and uh, there it's a um, like a good uh, structured college and uh, uh, sorry university so um, yeah that's a good thing also like we have sports up apart from all these things uh, there will be like sports coaching was there and uh, some coach will be coming for a, a, a particular sport like uh, i was there in vat volleyball team for last 5 years so what i do is um, i do uh, schedule my um, week and then uh, i do all my assignments on in between the free hours so that uh, i will be getting getting free time so we will be having 6 to 8 uh, volleyball team practice so we have a squad and similarly there will be squad for football cricket and uh, tennis so everything is there so even athletics is there so you also get equal importance in everything so that's a good thing about bat also the faculties are like um, you can expect them to be like talented and uh, they'll be teaching good like uh, it's similar to what we can expect in uh, nits and all these things so some talented uh, good really good faculties were there to you know encourage you and cherish you in your career also what exactly about the extra curricular activities apart from sports they are like um, international college so we have a uh, different uh, i think around uh, 100 plus clubs are there so it's club they have clubs and chapters so even i was part of uh, so i joined the club uh, i was in second year and i was part of um, you know no, non technical club as well so oh, there is uh, there is lot of clubs like apple developers mozilla club and uh, i triple e and uh, ies uh, lot of clubs were there so i joined two of the clubs because you can't be part of everything right i just want to i like to be part of things but you can't uh, manage all these things along with the sport and everything mm-hmm. uh, also with the studies you have to maintain as 9 points 9 plus cgpa so, so it's hectic so but you can choose uh, any two particular um, um you know clubs you have to give interview as uh, you might be knowing everyone might be doing yeah. so you have to give the interview and uh, you just clear how to clear and uh, we students will be taking seniors will be taking the interview and uh, if you like we build the culture in there so each club will be having a different kind of people like different from different places so it's better if you join it for second year or, or, or by the way in the end of second year so that uh, we'll be having an, a big exposure uh, and a big network will be developing there and you will be some, maybe you will also get a choice you know chance to you know um develop a team for under you or uh, build a own chapter for you also like uh, you can you know lead a team so i was a graphics design head for uh, my club so i was uh, you know i worked as a graphic designer earlier then uh, based on the skills and uh, the way i work how i work so they gave me the position of uh, graphic design head to say that and video editing audio effects and uh, i did a lot of things so yeah. i was also like um, after that um, that network grown really you know really good um, yeah it's that's when i got to know a lot of north indians so basically i'm from south india so now i have friends from all over india that's mm. that i would say is a positive networking approach it's very diversified right the students yeah. uh, the students come from different uh, cities and correct and uh, exactly. was there any attendance criteria for the same uh, 
for the college you're saying or asking or the clubs no clubs? for the college for the college okay um yeah for college we have a 75% mandatory attendance thing so one good thing uh, if you are on a 9 pointer uh, you just no need no need to come to college at all like uh, you don't need to maintain a 75% attendance you can uh, like maintain a 0% attendance also no no one cares about you like um, people used to say like vat is a strict college it has a numerous number of rules it might be there for hostless uh, so i'm a day scholar but it's not that level of uh, you know rules and regulations and you need to be like strict, uh, strict you are always strict it's not like that like uh, 70% attendance is mandatory for people uh, who is like less than 9.6 gpa so there is one more perk which most of the v18s won't be knowing like if you maintain uh, 9 plus gpa along with uh, not only 9 plus if you maintain a good cgpa plus um, 70% plus uh, attendance as well as uh, your income is like uh, less than 1 lakh then you will be getting scholarship every year like 10000 every year so they are conducting a scheme so if you have all these criteria uh, tick mark ticked then uh, you might be eligible for getting a scholarship every year of 10k so that is also one thing which most of them might not be knowing um yeah but people should be knowing uh, even i have spread this to my juniors a lot so they get okay. eligible but um, yeah that's a good thing uh so i just want to know what about the placements of the college like you know uh, do they provide any internships during the course and what exactly uh, how does it work mm, yeah so one good thing uh, why people used to uh, join vat or uh, like to join vat even though it's not an um, autonomous college like it's a private college and deemed university uh, it's a big university people might be ranking it next to um, bits right uh, so we used to rank like something like that but um, the good thing about vat is uh, we have a, like they provide a good placement like uh, all the companies which is coming to nit level even some nits are coming under vat like the ranking it goes under vat so vat have that kind of standard so uh, yeah most of the companies which comes to uh, iit nit um, even triple ats or uh, bits everything almost comes to uh, vat for uh, mtech integrated uh, we almost had a uh, 150 plus companies so btech i would say like it goes crosses around 300 350 i would say like uh, the placement it keeps on coming like the, for the whole one year one and a half year during your last year it keeps on flowing and the companies keeps coming you will getting uh, most of the 10 plus lpa companies uh, even after one year so it's not like the first month you will be getting all the big companies and you won't be getting it so i have had a lot of walmart google uh, nvidia everything so i was okay i'm working in nvidia right now so yeah i also placed in a super dream company yeah, yeah you have a lot of opportunities the good thing is um, i would like to i always used to say that uh, to my all my juniors that uh, if you maintain a proper 9 plus cgpa then you don't need to care um, care about all the you know all the backlogs and all these things uh, once you have a 9 plus cgpa your uh, vat life will be super awesome like it's like the dream life which you always wanted to live in college like how you see in the movies and all right <laughs> so yeah it's like um, once you maintain that 9 plus cgpa that's the thing like uh, you can enjoy what whatever you want in vat the negative part uh, just for the information uh, i can say uh, to make the you know audience aware about that like uh, we have uh, like people who get backlog right uh, basically in other colleges um, they will be writing an arrear exam so that they will be clearing it and then uh, they can uh, just uh, you know without end studying again they can just clear it and then uh, pass the paper so here i actually if you fail it um, fail a uh, subject or something like that in a, a semester then you have to do the some uh, sub- same subject again for a semester so that's one thing uh, in vat like uh, you have to uh, pay the backlog fee and uh, you have to do the same subject uh, if it's an elective you can choose a different subject but uh, you have to do it again for a semester or uh, along with the uh, projects along with the assignment along with the quizzes and all these things you have to do it again then you have to clear it so that oh, that's one thing that's why i say like uh, once you um, be above 9.9 cgpa then it's peaceful uh, so just one last question so what one advice will you give to students who want to be a part of this college who are planning to come into vit so yeah what one advice will you give to them 
Yeah, I'm absolutely. Like, uh, it's always worth it. Like, uh, whenever you say VAT, I'm a, like, I'm a VAT. Wherever I go, I was like, um, it's like a reputation. Like, uh, you're always recognized. So, whenever I say where, uh, wherever I go, that's how I'm a VAT. People used to give the same value as uh, an IAT or an NAT. So, it's not like uh, you are not uh, at all like, visible to others. so we get that all these recognitions and so companies treat you better like not treat you better like uh, they value you like you came you are coming from a big reputed com- uh, college so you are that you are having that name tag along with you for the rest of your life. i will just say like just go come into the college just enjoy um, for first two years at least uh, like it will be taking one year to you know explore things and uh, don't know how to set a path for us for the next of the 3 to 4 years what we should be doing so it takes one, around one year so and um, just enjoy the first year really well like um, explore everything in college there are a lot of uh, facilities lot of uh, extra curricular things everywhere the night life in vat is the best thing which i would uh, always say like uh, it's the best thing which can happen to a student like if you come after 6 pm right it could be like cultural everywhere there will be cultural events and almost like uh, half of the college will be out of the building so it will be always crowded so you meet different kind of people there after 6 pm you can talk to anyone you want and you can interact with them have ha- hang out with your friends there and uh, no one ask you question so the in time will be like 8:30 for girls and 9:30 for boys so yeah that's a good thing and uh, it's like a best it's like bangalore like how we, we have a night life in bangalore after uh, 6 pm so it's similar to that uh, we have in btl that's an amazing thing just enjoy there also meanwhile parallelly you should plan your uh, studies that uh, what are the where are the areas where you have to concentrate so that you maintain an n plus cgpa also parallelly how you can uh, which domain you want to concentrate in and so that uh, by the year when you come to uh, placements you also have your background uh, pretty well like you need to having all these uh, club behind you like uh, club tax like uh, you are a board member and all these things leadership skills shows your leadership skills when you attend an uh, interview like uh, all these things are you should be pre planned and uh, should be done in the college itself like uh, two years for clubs you have to you can dedicate and some time here and there for the sports you can always do it will refresh your mind and uh, first year i would say like if you won't be having anything in your mind so it's a blank so you can enjoy whatever you want we conduct tournaments like vad premier league happens every year and we have presses tournament and a lot of things are there and uh, before uh, the placement season now uh, one year you can like really work hard on your coding skills and all these things also uh, you can uh, develop all your uh, extra curricular skills like uh, here is the here is the place uh, where you actually can develop your communication skill and then the leadership as well as the speech speech like uh, speaking in on the dais right so these are the skills uh, which you can develop so that so that you can stand out in the placements and uh, everyone is a competitive uh, individual so you can really stand out among them and then get a really great job with a high cg uh, you know high package okay. that's what i would like to say Yes I think thank you thank you so much for being a part of this session and I think it was an amazing session